Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So I know we're a new generation of fidgeters and you know fans of skill toys. Anyhow, we've got you know our uh, fidget spinners, which I'm not super into anymore, but I still like this torque bar quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, kind of done with uh, fidget spinners. Yeah, you know, more into skill toys and you know things like these uh, awesome Big Larry. This is a new set I just got from um, uh, Monkey Finger Design. These new titanium coconuts. Um, unboxing and review of that coming soon. But anyhow, um, yeah, I like Big Larry because we've got you know there's an element of skill to it and progression. We've got your fidget pens, bolt action pens are fun too. And of course, uh, we did the knuckle roller before. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We uh, did the knuckle roller before. That was pretty fun, this one. Um, but now we've got this kind of fiddle stick, which is a paracord fiddle stick. I know it looks super simple. Um, it's essentially just a box knot. And um, one little difference, it's got a solid core. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this today. And of course, the way you kind of play with this is just by um, spinning it in between your fingers. And it's really fun when you get the hang of it. Because um, at first, if you've never done this before, um, your fingers will not be used to it and um, you won't have as much dexterity unless your hands are already very flexible but um, yeah just progressing and playing with this and getting your hands more and more flexible so that your movements are smoother it's actually a lot of fun and um, if you're a uh, you know Big Larry player like me having that flexibility and dex dexterity in your fingers will definitely help so something you can definitely try out but anyhow, that's what we're doing today. Hope you guys will like this one. Remember, you can support the channel by uh, checking out those affiliate links down below, um, purchasing some stuff through those links, all the paracord and all that good stuff. Also, if you really like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon, okay? So, guys, um, this is what we're doing today, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to start off this box knot fidget stick, or fiddle stick as we can call it, I've got two pieces of paracord. Measurements will be right here, of course. And I've got a nail. Um, this nail is about... Uh, just about three inches or so and all I did was I took a hacksaw and I cut off the head of the nail there So you don't need that you can file that down if you need and you also you can maybe dull the tip too in case you want to poke yourself But it's okay. Not a big deal. It'll all be enclosed inside the uh, box knot. So I got my two pieces of paracord We're going to uh, find the middle like So and then we're going to cross them over like this Okay, so now we're going to tie a box knot. So we're going to start off with the strands on the bottom. I'm going to bring one over, like so, and bring the next one over, like so. And then now we're going to work with the orange strand on the bottom. You're going to take the strand um, on the bottom. Now you're going to bring it to the left side here so always go over and under and whichever strand you go under has the loop there right that will prevent will keep the knot from uh, coming together or that'll allow the knot to be tied together and then on the opposite side same thing so over the first one and then under the uh, the one that has uh, a bend in it okay and then now we're going to slowly cinch everything together So, okay, <clears throat> and there we go. So now we have our first knot, okay? And now to continue from this point, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so if you tied the round knot or box knot, uh, of course, similar to the round knot, uh, you're gonna, again, bring um, the strands over. You're just gonna follow the same direction as uh, they were in before. Just bring them over and over, like so. And then again, bottom strand, go over and under. So remember, over and under, and make sure it's touching this one with the bend in it, like so. And then on this side, over and under, like that. Okay, so again, we're going to cinch this up and get everything together ok 
Okay, so just do whatever you got to do to get those knots nice and tight. I want this one looking nice and symmetrical. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do this maybe two more times before we uh, incorporate the nail. So again, same thing. Okay, so this is the, um, I think it's about the fourth, first, second, third, yeah, about the third or fourth uh, set of uh, box knots that I've tied. So now we're going to take your nail, you can definitely uh, keep the, use that pointy part, and now just kind of stick it in there, right, uh, in between, right in between all those knots. Of course, that nice point helps it stay in. And then now we can tighten our knot around this nail. Okay, so now that we have this nail incorporated, you're just going to continue the same pattern. Okay, continue tying those box knots around the nail. And um, yeah, just make your way up the nail and go all the way to the end. And yeah, keep those knots nice and tight. So I'm just going to continue tying as I go all the way up the nail. And then um, we'll finish it off near the end. All right, so we're almost done here. And as you can see, the nail is almost covered and we're just gonna tie, I think we just tie one more uh, box knot here just to cover that up. It's a little bit trickier when you don't have the, uh, the nail in the middle. Anyways, do the same process. I think it will be covered after this one. So cinch that up real quick. Okay, so that is pretty much done. You can tie a couple more uh, box knots if you want, just to make it a little bit longer. I might do one more. Uh, it's up to you how long you want the, um, you know, this little fidget toy to be. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tie one more and then just snip and singe the excess and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. Got that excess paracord snipped and cinched off. And this little fidget toy is good to go and ready, ready to be uh, fidgeted with. That's a hard word to say, fidgeted. But anyhow, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely try one out for yourself. I know it seems a little simple, maybe a little dumb in some people's minds, but you know what? It's actually really fun to me. And you know, the more you, um, practice and the smoother uh, your fingers and dexterity get is actually very satisfying that progression but anyhow don't take my word for it try it out for yourself all right so guys remember uh, if you're looking for ready at paracord and all that good stuff check out those affiliate links down below you can support the channel that way or you can also uh, support me on patreon okay so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one bye